Hello friends and welcome to our new channel ENGG Art. So today I'm going to show you how you can access your router setting from any external network. With regards to a connected network, an external network means a network from where the router is not connected. For example, if your router is connected at your home, an external network should be from your mobile internet service provider or your office or your college and vice versa. I just updated my router on November 2018 which is upgraded to the latest firmware 3.0.5. It could be possible that you may have uh, another version of this D-Link router or another version of the firmware. Now let us take a quick look at the summary page. Here as you can see I have the model number DIR825ACG1 with the latest firmware version 3.0.5. On the right side you can see the WAN IPv4 with connection type as a dynamic IPv4. I actually have a subscription of a static IP address with my internet service provider but this trick works on both static and dynamic IPs. Going down below, you can see other options such as Wi-Fi, 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz and LAN ports, which is all not necessary for the purpose of this tutorial. So now without wasting any more time, let me show you the setting where the magic lies. Scroll down and you can see the advanced option, click on it. and then go to remote access and soon the remote access opens up here click the add button the add rule window opens up and here you'll see a bunch of options you have to check the option for open host from any external host this will enable us to access the router settings from anywhere in the world from any internet as long as this url is not barred in the public port option the default is 80 but you can change it to any number for our example i am using port number 800 leave the protocol http as it is and then save it so now the remote access rule is created we have successfully opened a port 800 from our router to the open internet now let us test if our router setting is working properly. I'm opening a new tab and I'll search for my IP on Google. Here you'll get your current external IP address. I'm going to copy this external IP and paste this new IP on your tab with the port number 800. There's one thing to keep in mind. If you're connected to your internal network, that is your own Wi-Fi where your router is connected, you might not be able to access your router from your public IP. So to actually test our router setting, I'm going to connect my system to a mobile hotspot from my cell phone. I have opened up the network status panel of the settings menu. As you can see, my system is connected to Sayyid's, which is my broadband. Now I'm going to connect to my mobile hotspot. Now I've connected to my mobile hotspot, as you can see the status has changed to OnePlus Zap, which is my cell phone. I've hit the refresh button. It's taking so much time because now it's going over the internet and searching for our IP address. If you're connected to a very good internet service provider, your IP address might come up very easily. I have bypassed my login screen and we'll directly go to our status page now. So here you go. The home page is now being loaded and this is our summary page. All our router info is intact. From here you can change all your router settings. The remote access settings is also here completely intact same as we left it on a local network. Now we have a complete remote access of our router from an external network. Now if we try to open a router page from a local IP that is 192.168.0.1 it will not connect because now we are connected to a mobile hotspot 
which is not an internal network so here you go this is how you can enable your d-link router to access it over the internet from any external network if you want some specific videos on some technical topics you can comment down below on this video thanks for watching and if you like it please subscribe to our channel i'll be making more technical videos in the future